Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. As I've said in cards previously this week, um, I'm making this with dies that I received from a subscriber. Um, these dies have retired, unfortunately. Oh, I never coloured them in. Um, yes, they. she sent me and asked if I could use them and I said yes. Certainly. I won't be able to get the stamp set for this um, these dies because it has now retired. And it was they were in this spring and summer catalogue. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, beautiful birthday jubilee they were called, and I can't get that stamp set no more, which is a pity. What page were they on? Thirty-five. There. So I am going to make. I have made this using the dies but using the flowers from Bloom and Grow and this has been carried over so I use these flowers but the big birthday I've had to use a retired stamp set and I've used this what I've done is actually cut that stamp in half so I can just have the birthday and then the happiest come from well said and that is on here somewhere can you see it there it is there so that's how I've made this now I've cut all the dies out there here there's one and here too as you can see I'm changing the colour to soft sea foam that would go like that and like that. Now because I wanted to raise them, what I did, I actually stuck them on a piece of card the same colour. Wrong way, that way. I stuck them on there just so I could raise them up. Now I had the choice of either sticking them on there or on white card so that the white shows out underneath mm. now I'll stick them on see if, uh, but first of all we will do our stamping as always so it'll dry so I can colour it in and we'll cut them out using my mini um, cutter so got my stamp ink it up really well and stamp it down one we need two of these one I did cut off the flowers and I'll show you what I mean when I get there two right leave them to dry clean that up A piece of soft sea foam for the birthday but I'm going to use Versafine for that because I want it to come out really clear and I'm going to stamp that just 
just there. Like that. I will cut that down. Right. And then we also want on a scrap of white the word happy. That's our stamping done. So we can put that away. Right, let's sort that out. I'll just bring my mini trimmer through and trim off. There were excess card on this because we don't need it. There we are. Right. Yeah. Trying to think what we're going to do. Right, first of all, we need to stick these on. This card. And then cut it off. What I did was stood it up just so that it went right along the bottom and glued that down. And then I got my scissors and along the top. That's one. Do the same for this one. Band it up so that it can stick it down. And cut that off. Like that. on that for now. Well, I didn't tell you what card um, I'm using. Well, obviously you know I'm using soft sea foam. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. I've got two pieces of white, one for the inside, which I'm going to stick in now because I didn't do nothing inside. And this one, we're going to stick these two on dimensionals. So they'll be like that, and they'll be like that, and then the birthday goes in the middle. All on dimensionals. So I am going to stick this on first. it will be easier. And 
and then I'm going to sort out the dimensionals. Oh, no paper on them. down the middle there we are put that away and take the backs off this on the card. Do the same with this one. card like that. And then this one in the middle. Looking good already. Now we should concentrate on this. Oh, I'll just put them scissors away. We need them for this. The word happy. To go in there. Now, on the other one, I actually coloured that in in the colour what colour do I colour it in? I use the pen just to colour that in. Which I'll do on this one. Except I never got it out. Soft sea foam. brush bit. Make it a bit darker, that does. And that'll go on there like that, which is okay. Oh, that went on actually a bit of white. So we'll stick that on. Stick it on this bit because that's straighter. Off. 
with a small white border. That's better. Get rid of the rubbish. And that went on flat. these flowers and then we'll cut them out right the center flowers we colored in in petal pink and don't work very well. from the government to actually have visitors in my garden which is nice my sister came round and my I only have one person at a time so my sister and my yeah, my sister come one day, Monday. My youngest daughter came Wednesday. And my middle daughter is coming Saturday. one flower. Now this flower we did in Highland Heather. that one and right I hope you can see that one's only got three on the top one but the bottom one's got all the flowers on so I did the last two in pink
and old olive for all the leaves as usual Finding them all. left right side oh, I could have had this done before but then the video would have been about two seconds long Now you're wondering about um, the flower I never cut in, that's because I'm going to cut them off. So I'm still going to use these, so when I cut them off, I'll cut this. these leaves off as well right, that's one And then we've just got all the dots to do in Seaside Spray, I think this is. Right, that's them done. Now we're going to bring my little side cook in, my plates, and I need the dies. Scissors too. Oh, they don't them. Right. 
Right. Got my Sizzix sidekick. Someone asked me uh, where I got it from. I actually got it from Amazon. They do co the range, a shop here in the UK, do sell them. It is a Sizzix sidekick, as it's called. Obviously made by Sizzix. And that just fits on there. But it's the um, Stampin' Up. I've now bought out a small cutting machine. Quite pricey, I think, as well, for what it is. I mean, this one was £34. And we have one flower. And now we're going to cut out this one. That's the other one. Put that back. Bin. And we don't need that now. Right, put my paper snips. I cut off. green bits round here. The simple fact is they're just that bit too long. Right, and this one did I keep that? No. I took off that leaf. Got around the flower. Both ends. Oh, I see what I've done. I actually cut off all the white border as well. I just cut off these because I can use these. Oh. 
And that is what I've done with them. So, there's my card. This one goes up here with that. No, that goes on the bottom one. That there. Like that. And then the bottom one, I put it upside down and I cut that off as well. Can you have them one with a border and one without because it will look silly. You might as well have just cut them out by hand. Did. No, I didn't have that leaf either. Well, that went there, and then that, because it was so big, that's why I had to cut them off. And then this one went under there like that. That's how they went. So, let's glue our middle flowers down. And then glue our outer flowers down and then just pop a bit of glue on there and do the same this side. a bit of glue under that. So do the same at the top. And that bit of glue under the end of flower. underneath and a bit of glue there and that is how you make a flower fit I hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.